Okay, welcome to part two of my look at the Axe FX3 Marshalls. This time we're going to have a look at the Plexi models. Last time we had a look at the JTM45 and dialed in some pretty sweet tones with that. But now we're getting into the Plexis, which is uh, definitely one of the reasons to get an Axe FX3 because there's so many different Plexi models and they all sound amazing in their own way. Very quickly, I'm using this STR LJ1 guitar, which has some Martin A. Smith pickups in it, a PAF style humbucker and a humbucker sized P90. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, obviously I'm going to start with a Plexi style amp. I'm going to start with a Plexi 50 Watt 6550, which is my favorite model in there. I'm using some impulses that I shot of my Marshall TV cabinet. These are available on Axchange, so go grab them. I think they sound pretty decent. I'll also try a couple of different IRs for you guys in there. Uh, some ML stuff, some York Audio stuff, all my favorite stuff. And then I've got a little bit of the London plate reverb on there just because I think it sounds really good. So this is what the Plexi amp sounds like at the stock settings. Actually, just to jog your memory, this is what the JTM45 ended up sounding like when we dialed it in. That's pretty cool. At the stock settings, the Plexi 50 Watt 6550 sounds like this. It's a totally different beast. You can hear that there's this kind of scratchiness to the pick attack. It's so much more aggressive and there's loads more gain on tap. So let's do what we did to the JTM45, which was pull some bass out and boost the middle and the treble. And that will get us closer to that iconic Marshall Plexi kind of thing. I always just start with a bass around nine o'clock and mids and treble all the way up. And that is the classic Marshall Plexi tone. Uh, I was playing around there with either this York Audio Park Impulse, based on Greenbacks, uh, the ML Legends mix, which I think is slightly darker sounding, uh, just different, you know, it's nice to try these amps through different IRs and uh, as well as my Marshall TV impulse. So um, yeah, what a great sounding amp model, right? If we do those settings to all the different Plexi models, we can hear the inherent differences between them. So I'll just kind of scroll through some of these. Actually, I'm gonna play a loop and then we will scroll through some of them just so you guys can hear them and pick out your favorites. So let's get the looper happening. A really cool little trick is to set the record threshold. Uh, so when I start playing, it's gonna start playing the loop.
As you can hear, they've all got a uh, sort of distingu distinguishable character to them, which is uh, pretty nice. I really like the 6550 because it's tighter and more aggressive. You might like, for example, the Plexi 100 watt jump because it's a bit darker, or the 1970 Plexi. But essentially, if you use these tricks when dialing them in, keep the bass low, crank the middle and the treble, uh, it's sort of just the shortcut to great Plexi tone. These amps love having some kind of boost in front of them as well, so. I mean, obviously a fuzz face will get you the kind of Hendrixy thing, uh, like so. Again, it's great hearing what different IRs do in the way they interact with the amp. So that's pretty cool. Let's swap over to a Strat because I want to get a deep purple sound. Richie Blackmore is one of my all-time heroes, and uh, so is Ingvay Malmsteen. I've got an Ingvay Malmsteen Strat here. So. Kind of the trick to getting the Blackmore thing is hitting the front end of the Plexi with the tape distortion. So if you set the drive, you know, it's around two or three. Uh, I'll start with it off. <laughs> And as you can hear, that's super bright. So two things that you can do, you can either turn the drive up, which is gonna smooth stuff out, uh, or you can turn the treble down, or you can also turn the bright cap down. <laughs> So that's sounding really, really cool on the bridge pickup. Now with the tape distortion, it takes it to the next level. That's kind of deep purple-ish anyway, and if, if you want a, more of the rainbow thing, just play with your fingers. <laughs> Which is pretty sweet. Uh, you can't mention Plexis without mentioning Eddie Van Halen. So the first thing to do, what I would recommend is go into the amp block, go to the input EQ and set the say frequency to 800 Hertz and boost that guy by about 6 dB. This is going to give you like an 80s style pre-boost. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm playing a Strat, doesn't have a humbucker in it, but we can sort of get there. If we go to the power supply, I'm gonna turn the Variac down to about 75%, which is pretty cool.
And plenty of plate reverb helps there. Obviously a guitar with a humbucker will kind of get you a little bit closer. And you can turn that bright cap, cap value back up. It was somewhere around the 4000s and that will also get you slightly closer to the Eddie thing. Um, you have to be able to play like Ed and I totally cannot do that. He's a freakazoid. So uh, this should get you sort of close if you're using a plexi. Use the Variac, crank the mid and the treble, turn the bass down, use an appropriate guitar and uh, practice heat. <laughs> So, you can use all of these tricks on your favorite Plexi model. I think they're incredible amps. They're an incredible simulation in the Axe FX3. As always, choose your guitar wisely, your impulse response wisely, and play around with different boosts. I actually really like just the Humble Tube Screamer with these. I think it sounds great. Um, the rap, the fuzz face, the tape distortion, just about anything goes into these amps. They take a beating. And, uh, you know, with a Strat, you can do, obviously, the purple kind of thing. You can also clean up your tone with your volume and tone controls. Uh, and if you're using a Les Paul, you just get, it's just the sound of 70s rock to me. So that's part two of our look at the vintage Marshalls. Go and pick your favorite Plexi model and try these tips and tricks. Let me know how you go. As always, if you're using these amp models, uh, leave a comment. Let me know which one is your favorite. <laughs> Uh, I'm tongue-tied today and uh, part three we're gonna have a look at the master volume models like the 2204 and the 2203 and then later on we'll have a look at some of the more modern Marshalls but for now that's the Plexis enjoy go and play some guitar and uh, relive the glory days of the 70s